Okay, so uh, section 3.6 and 3.7 are all about parallel and perpendicular lines uh, involving the coordinate plane. So it brings a lot of Algebra 1 back into geometry, so I'm sure some of you will be excited about um, revisiting Algebra 1. Um, in this video, we'll talk about parallel lines, and in the next video, it'll be a little bit shorter, talking about perpendicular lines. So the first thing we have to revisit is the coordinate plane and this idea of slope, okay? So here is going to be my coordinate plane. This is my x-axis, here's my y-axis, and I'm going to draw a line in a different color through, okay, on the coordinate plane. Every line has a certain way that it is tilted, okay, or leaning, okay. I say, um, you know, tilted, and this attributed is, uh, this is attributed to slope, okay, slope. Every line has slope. So, there are a couple ways to find slope. I'm going to put two points on this line and give them the coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2. Okay. So the first way to do slope, and slope is m, is you can count from one point to the other by doing what's called rise over run. If you count the vertical distance from one point to the other, so if we count this distance, and we call that the rise. And then we count over to the point, And we call that the run. This is the way we can find slope, by counting. Rise over run. So that's one way to find slope. And counting is, is, a, is a, you know, you can do it. The other way is by taking your coordinates and plugging them into a slope formula. Okay? So in that slope formula, rise has to do with the y direction. So we subtract the y coordinates on the top, and then the run has to do in the x direction, so we subtract the x coordinates in the bottom. Notice that x2 and x and x2 and y2 they come from the same point, they go first. x1 and y1 come from the same point, they go second. So this is what you need to know about slope. And we're going to calculate some slopes here in a little bit. So parallel lines, what's the big deal about parallel lines? Well let's draw another picture. Coordinate plane. Here's the x, here's the y. Okay, and let's draw two parallel lines. Okay, we'll go, there's one, we'll call it line one, and here's a second one, I'll call that line two. And they are parallel. So I'll mark them parallel, and I'll even put it over here. L1 is parallel to L2. Well, if you look at them, they they appear to be leaning the same way, okay? They're, they're, you know, the way that they're tilted is the same. So what this has to do with is the fact that the slopes of parallel lines are equal. So this is a big thing to remember. Parallel lines have equal slopes. Equal slopes, okay? So that means the slope of L1 is going to be the same as the slope of L2. All right. So parallel lines have equal slopes. Let's look at an example involving um, finding slopes and seeing if lines are parallel. Okay, so here's the, the first example we'll look at. And the question is, are the lines parallel? And what I'll do is I'll give you three lines. So we'll call line 1. And we'll say that line 1 goes through the points 5, 4, and negative 4, negative 4. Line 2 goes through the points negative 6, negative 1, and 3, 7. And line 3 goes through the points 0, negative 3, and 1, negative 2. All right. So the idea is, can we find slopes? And we can. We'll find the slope of each line. We'll find the slope of L1, L2, and L3, and we'll compare them in the end. And if any of them are the same, then we know those lines are parallel. So the slope of L1 equals. So we're going to do 
Um, this will be our x1, y1 column. This will be our x2, y2 column. And we'll use each set of coordinates for each line. So for line 1, y2 is negative 4. So let's recall the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll just plug it in. So we have negative 4 minus, sorry, minus 4 over negative 4 minus 5. And at the top we get negative 8. On the bottom we get negative 9. The negatives will cancel and the slope of line 1 is 8 ninths. Okay? So let's do it for the second line. Slope of line 2. We have 7 minus a negative 1. We have 3 minus a negative 6. We will change these minus and minus to pluses. And we get 8 ninths. Okay, so there we go. We have two lines that are or have the same slope. So we know that line 1 is parallel to line 2. We know that. So let's check out line 3. So we get negative 2 minus negative 3 over 1 minus 0. We can't, or we, we do that minus minus equals plus, and we get negative 2 plus 3 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, and that's a slope of 1. 1 is not equal to 8 ninths, so L3, line 3, is not parallel to lines 2 or line 1. Okay, next we need to review how to find the equation of a line. Okay, so finding the equation of a line. Okay, some of you might have been taught differently. Here is how I will go about showing you how to find the equation of a line. The first thing we will do is we will use what's called point slope form. And point slope form looks like this. Y minus Y1 equals m times x minus x1. In this formula, you have three numbers. Those three numbers are y1, m, and x1. So we'll underline y1, m, and x1. Those are going to be numbers. And your goal is to work this formula down until it's in slope intercept form. Sorry, I'll write that out. Slope intercept form. And slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So this is going to be your final answer. But we're going to use point slope form to get us there. Okay? Now, notice point slope form. Point slope. You need a point and you need the slope in order to use point slope form. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here's our example. Give it a line, um, 3x plus 2y equals 6. Find the line parallel through, and we'll say the point negative 4, 1. Okay? So given a line, find the line parallel through negative 4, 1. Alright. So parallel means something. Okay? We're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular. So parallel means something. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take this line and we need to find the slope. This is not in slope intercept form. We need to put this into y equals mx plus b. If we do that, then we know that m is the slope and we can identify it. So to do that, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. So we get 2y equals negative 3x plus 6, and we will divide by 2. When you divide by 2 on the right side, you need to divide both of those by 2. So we get y equals the negative 3 halves does not simplify, and 6 over 2 is 3. So here is our line that we need to find um, our other line parallel to, and we can identify the slope as negative 3 halves. Okay, so here is our slope we need to use. 
here is our point we need to use. This is going to be my x1, y1, so now we can use point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus 1 equals, the m is negative 3 halves, x minus a negative 4. Okay. So the y minus 1 will stay the same. Over here, first thing, change your signs, minus minus is plus, and now we're going to distribute a negative 3 halves. What we'll get is negative 3 halves x, and then when you multiply negative 3 halves times 4, you will get negative 12 sixths, which is, or I'm sorry, negative 12 halves, which is going to be 6. All right, negative 6. And then the last thing you need to do is add 1 to both sides to get y by itself. y equals negative 3 halves x minus 5. And there's the equation of a line parallel to the given line through negative 4, 1. And we talked about the parallel postulate, right? That is the only line through that point that is parallel to the given line. Okay, so here is section 3, 6. Section 3, 7, again, will be a little bit shorter video because it's much the same material. Thanks for watching.